Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm working on a on a strimmer which has a broken switch, a control switch for the throttle. Um, and I've already taken it apart and fixed it, but I'm, I'm going to go through it again now and try and show you how I fixed it and also how to put it back together because it's a little tricky. You've got a couple of springs and uh, bits of plastic that can fall out, etc. So I'll, I'll do my best to film it and show it to you. So here is the streamer I'm working on at the moment. That's what it looks like down the bottom there. I haven't, I haven't actually tried it out yet. Um, I understand it wouldn't start, so that'll be my next task uh, to try and find out why it didn't start and repair it. Um, so if I come up here, you've got the handle and then the switch, which I've already removed and I've actually repaired it. So what, what I'll do, I'll take it apart again and show you how I repaired it. And I'll also show you uh, the best way to put this back together again, um, because it's a little bit tricky. There's a few springs in there, bits of plastic that drop out when you're trying to put it together, etc. So I'll go through that and show you that. So here's a couple of nuts and bolts and screws that were holding it together. If I just show you, there's two small screws there. They were uh, in there and there. Then there's a, there's a nut and a bolt, which is here, which goes through the center part there. And that also holds it onto the, to the rod here. The bolt goes through that hole there. If I can try and film it, there you go. And then uh, the other bolt goes on the back here. So that's like a clamp which clamps the back of that down once you've pushed it back onto this pole here. So apart from that, I'll try now and show you how uh, I repaired the switch on here. So with the two parts uh, split apart in two halves, um, I'm just showing you the components that you've got inside. So there's a, there's a little lever there. There's a spring underneath it there. re-angle my camera that's a bit better so there's a spring there there's a little piece of plastic there which hits the back end of that spring as well I'll try and show you that in more detail when I put it back together and then also uh, there's the throttle uh, linkage there and obviously it tucks into that bit there to keep it under tension so you can lift that out and then uh, slide this around and then slide that out of there like that that gets that off of there now if i show you the bit that was broken i put it back together there is a spring inside this as well because uh, this lever is like this and uh, i'm just going to pull it out to show you how i repaired it have to keep an eye you don't lose that spring in there because it might ping off what I should have done really is film <laughs> film this at the point of when I was fixing it but I didn't think about it at the time when I, I thought about it after I put it back together and thought I should do a video on that right let's take it out there there's that spring Keep that aside right and let me show you this was if i can actually get it in the camera there we go so that's the lever and if you if you look carefully you can see um i put around it um a cable tie because it was snapped basically you, uh, i want to see if i can point to the the point where it was snapped so it was snapped here and here so if you pulled this lever, it basically split apart here and wouldn't pull. It had no way of pulling, pulling on that that cable. It wouldn't pull it at all. So you'd be pushing the lever, and the cable wouldn't be going anywhere. Um, and I was thinking to myself, how am I going to get that to go back together? Because normally, if you try and glue a bit of plastic like that, as soon as you put pressure on it, it will just snap again. 
starting so I want to put something on it that will hold it together um, I did actually glue it as well I used some super glue in there both sides of that the crack that was in there it hadn't cracked all the way through this side this side it was sort of still hanging on luckily if it's gone there then it would be just a case of replacing the whole pot but uh, in order to get that cable tie in there so I drilled a little hole there and then underneath that side and then I come around here and drilled a hole through there as well and I tucked the cable tie end in inside where it's not going to get in the way of anything because if you put it on the outside it's going to get caught on something and you certainly can't put it on top because there's no room so I tucked it inside there then wrapped the cable tie all the way around back through this hole and then pulled it really tight and that's clamped really nice and tight on there now and of course it's got the glue addition of the glue holding it together and uh, so I already know it, it's it's uh, holding solid because I've put it back together and tried it so now I'm going to try and put this back together so that you can see what I'm doing and see how it goes back together right so I'm going to start with this spring which is what's used to keep this lever in the outward position and it sort of goes into there's a hole there in the in the uh, switch it slides into there uh, how can I show you this let's try it like that so if you imagine it like that going through there and slotting over this bit I'll put it on I'll try and put the spring on the inside of there first because that's how it's under tension so if I put it in there first and then turn it a bit hold it with my finger and try and slide that down it's quite a bit of tension on it there we go so now that's on and if I lever it so that wobbling camera it's I'll leave it up there we go You can see now the tension on that spring brings that back out like that, which is good. Now, now that that's in place, I'm going to put the cable back in. So that's just going to slot it in there and then push it through and then bring it round. It goes sort of tucks in underneath the plastic there. So that's now we'll now pull on put on the cable like that when you press it and that that bit of cable routes through routes through there <clears throat> and the end of it has to tuck in to its little uh, holder there that's that enables it to be held in place when you pull it it gives it that tension it's, let's try and show you So now, uh, there's also the, the wires. You need to make sure these wires are, are tucked into. There's a there's like a plastic groove in there. It keeps them out the way of any moving parts. Okay, so on the other side, you'll see you've got this plastic uh, little push button here, which hits the back of this spring. If I pull this spring out, I'll try and show you. So if you imagine the springs like that and the, uh, the little button hits the back end of the spring at the bottom and then the top end of the spring is is what this part levers against. So I'll try and show you how that still goes together. So obviously though the bottom end of that spring goes in first really onto the bottom. So slots in like that and then you can see that that button 
pushes against it. I pull the spring back, the button pushes against that spring. If I pull the top of the spring, it pulls it back. And then this part here goes on, hits the back side of that top of that spring. That little notch goes inside the hole where that spring is sitting around. Like I say, if I can try and do it slowly for you. So that's now against the, the top side of the spring. Then if I bring that forward this way and tuck it into the tuck it into this side, there is a little a lip of plastic like that. It's a little tricky to hold it and and do it at the same time. But now, if I keep my finger on it to stop it from pinging out. If I press that button, it, you can see it goes against that spring. And then this top one goes against the spring the other way, pushes the other way. So it will do once, you know, it will do once it's all together. This mechanism is what's used to, to keep the switch on in a locked position so you don't have to keep your finger on it all the time and then you'd normally click this lever and it will ping it back unlocked so now you've got those two bits together you, you should now put these two together before you try and put it back on the tube of the actual um this thing here the tube of the handle you put it back together before you do that it would be quite difficult to do it the other way so now, this bit's a little tricky because you need to try and hold this at the same time. And this bit of the, the lever there slots into that piece of plastic there. So the best way is to, is to try and locate them. But like I, said, like I said, try and keep this cable as well. Keep that cable where it is so it doesn't come out. So if the cable does come out, you can always go back towards that end and try and push it back in, but I think that one is okay. I'm going to keep my hands on it and hold it together whilst I move position and then try and see if it actually... Okay, so that seems to be okay. So the main thing is if you can... If you press that before you can press that down. And of course, when that springs back up, it locks, so that won't move at all now. I guess that's probably how that broke in the first place. I bet somebody didn't unlock it or didn't press that first and then pull the lever in. Which is probably why it snapped. So I'm going to put some screws back in there. And then uh, try and show you how that mechanism works obviously these these two screws you can put in first it's only that screw there that you need to put in after you've slid it onto the pole because it has to go through the locating holes on the pole So now, so now if I hold it down and press that button, it stays locked in position. So it's technically that would be constantly on. And then when you want to switch it back off, if you press the button again, that should pop back up like that. So I think that's okay. Now I'm going to put it 
back on the back on the pole. I'm also going to try and tuck in the back end of there because there's a there's like a cable cover and the wires are sticking out of it, so I want to want to make sure that they get tucked in to keep the wires safe in there. Push that little um, car cover bit in a bit further. That way that's tucked right in then. So now let's put this on the pole. Okay, and then you can see at some point when you get far enough on, you'll be able to see the hole in there. And that screw will go through. And then there's a little tiny nut that goes on the other side of that screw. Okay, and now there's a clamp, that clamp, which goes to the back of that there, which I'll just show you. So the clamp goes up. It goes across that, the back side of that. And then uh, there's a nut and a bolt for that there. I like to keep the nuts and bolts together. Um, when I'm working on stuff because otherwise you, you lose nuts and bolts on the floor like I did actually earlier the one that was the, the other one I just did up I that fell out when I was outside and I, luckily I found it again Okay, so there we go. Now that's all back together again. So now that's that stays out and stays locked. And then when you press the bottom plastic in, that goes down. And then if you wanted to lock it, you can press that, which keeps that on. And now if you wanted to unlock it, you press that. It all comes back out again. It's a little bit, a little tiny bit stiffer, but it will work its way in. The main thing is, is that you could be, you'll be able to use that now, and it would, uh, it would work. Your sort of would work. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that might help someone out there. And uh, if you like my channel, please. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.